When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon the town. Hey, is it coming this way? It's May 4th, 2007. It's going to be close. Don't An EF5 tornado nearly two miles wide cuts directly through the small farming community. It sounded like iron scraping on cement or something. It sure is getting big. When the violent whirl pass, life here, the way it has been for more than 100 years, was nothing but tangled heaps of steel and brick and glass strewn for miles upon miles. I could feel the hail and the rain coming in and a flash of lightning and I realized that our house was gone. We were just in the open. Sarah Schmidt and every family she knows lost something. More likely though, they lost everything. The tornado decimated 95% of the town. Every building on Main Street was destroyed with the exception of one. It used to be a bank and it was built in the early 1900s. Businesses that stood, some since the late 1800s, were reduced to rubble. People who worked in town didn't have jobs to go to. The reality, unimaginable. Invariably though, tragedies like these are about the human toll. In Greensburg alone, 11 souls perished on that spring night. When the tornado plowed through town, Sarah Schmidt and her husband Harold sought refuge in the basement. And I said, there's a truck in our basement, face down. Well, it was on him. So <clears throat> I waited for a long, <clears throat> a long time. Seemed like an eternity. An eternity that dragged on for another 10 days and five surgeries. And they were trying to save him, but it wasn't the Lord's will. And I just had to accept that. Just two days before that storm, Sarah and Harold had celebrated 54 years as man and wife. He may not be here in, in person, but he's with me in spirit. It is a difficult um, place to be as a pastor when you look at this kind of destruction because part of it is just living in a world that's broken. Broken yet unbreakable in spirit. A little more than four years have passed and the din of hammers still rings in the morning air as homes rise from the ground. One by one, neighborhoods are forming. We have probably, I would say, around 55, 60 percent of the homes built back that were here prior to the storm. Here's Main Street then and now. There are new banks, businesses, a city hall, a school, a hospital and churches. Rebuilding is not cheap. The mayor says about $70 million in public and private funds have been spent so far. Rebuilding is not easy. We kind of live in an economy that's broken, and so I think that makes the, the rebirth of Greensburg more difficult. Um, we really got finished and set up um, for businesses to step in right as the economy was in the final descents of absolutely falling into the toilet. And so it's been a hard sell, but I think it's possible. Pastor Lawson believes because he's a man of faith and because with every new day, he sees the townspeople toil to make this place home again. They're strong people. Uh, you don't live in rural Kansas on accident. Um, it's, it's on purpose. Resilient people. Yeah. People like Sarah, who in her late 70s and without her beloved husband by her side, had to start over. Don't look back, look ahead. Why? Because if you look back, it can be too hurtful. Look ahead and accept what you get as you go. ways life in Greensburg, Kansas evokes the classic image of a small rural Midwestern town. She is wearing bright color blocked sunglasses. Every year 4-H girls modeling clothes made by their own hands kick off the Kiowa County Fair. For more than a century the biggest tourist draw was the world's largest hand dug well. But in the last four years, visitors have come from all parts of the globe. It's just amazing how they've bounced back. To behold a rebirth after a massive tornado flattened 95% of the community. This is a living laboratory in Greensburg and Kiowa County. A living laboratory because the people here are striving to build an environmentally friendly community of the future. 
the experiment is coming to life. From the art center to the high school to the John Deere dealership, buildings are going green. They're harnessing solar and wind power and using recycled materials. City Hall exemplifies just what Greensburg is aspiring to accomplish throughout the town. These bricks are reclaimed from the rubble. The wood on the ceiling is uh, reclaimed from an Army Depot plant down in Oklahoma. The concrete is all is around 25% fly ash, which is a byproduct of coal-fired electrical plants. The building also uses natural lighting and a geothermal well that brings 56 degree water up from underground to provide chilled air during the blazing summers. In the space of four years, the town has built the most LEED certified buildings per capita in the world. Some locals say going green is nothing new. They're just returning to their roots. The old windmills, for instance, were used to pump water from wells for the farm. Take a look at the new wind turbines. They're used to generate electricity for the whole town. I go back to what our ancestors were when they pioneered the Midwest. They knew about wind, they knew about solar, they knew about good clean water and how to utilize that. They were the original green people. Learning from the old ways and expanding those concepts to rebuild was not simply about going green for Greensburg. The ambitious concept was also cultivated in the hopes of attracting something the town desperately needed to thrive. And our biggest export for years wasn't cattle or wheat or corn, it was our youth. We provided nothing for them to come back to the community. So we were getting to be an older community. Some would say a dying community. Before the tornado, some 1,400 people called this home. Since that day, the population has dropped to about 800 people. But that number encompasses a lot more younger faces. People like Stacy Barnes, who runs the HIP 547 Art Center. We moved back just because I wanted to be a part of what was going on. It was such an exciting time, and it still is, to see all the changes that are made. People like T.J. Lawson, who pastors at the Greensburg Christian Church. Any community that is interested in hiring a young pastor and um, is going to put the, one of their first public buildings back up as the art center was just too much for, for my wife and I to pass up. While this living laboratory of building green is writing a new future for Greensburg, the accomplishments are carried on through a spirit ingrained long ago by pioneers whose grit and guts and gumption first tamed this land and built this town, a town some say was fading away. The tornado blessed us with an opportunity to reverse that and change the way we looked at the future. Did we want to just survive or did we want to thrive? And we want to be a thriving community. Barren lots, fractured foundations, scarred trees. They're all reminders that on a random Friday, life that seemed unchangeable changed forever. Oh my God. I'd never seen anything like this. Even now, more than four years after an EF5 tornado plowed through the small town of Greensburg, Kansas, people are still finding remnants of their old lives. Just about everything the people of Greensburg loved about their town was left in bits and pieces, much like this house. Some people left for good, others stayed and began the tedious process of rebuilding their lives. Sarah Schmidt has lived in this community for six decades. She is painstakingly familiar with what it takes to step into an untrodden chapter in life. I always knew God would take care of you, but I, I hadn't ever been put to the test before. Hey, is it coming this way? On that spring night in 2007, when the tornado tossed the town upside down, Sarah lost her husband, Harold, their home, and everything it took to build over a lifetime. Starting over meant overcoming hurdles, pitfalls, and a pushy contractor. He claimed to be a real good Christian and claimed he would wanted to really help me. What he promised was wholly different than what came to pass. After we started on the house and after we got some of the money, he just started backing off and he left me sitting. While Sarah was living in a FEMA trailer on this now deserted land, her house was untouched for months. She was charged for cement twice and build for materials that weren't for her home. 
ask what she thinks of the contractor and she'll tell you. You really don't want to know. <laughs> with time behind. When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon the town. Hey, is it coming this way? It's May 4th, 2007. When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon the town. Hey, is it coming this way? It's May 4th, 2007. When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon the town. Hey, is it coming this way? It's May 4th, 2007. When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon the town. Hey, is it coming this way? It's May 4th, 2007. When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon the town. Hey, is it coming this way? It's May 4th, 2007. When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon the town. Hey, is it coming this way? It's May 4th, 2007. When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon the town. Hey, is it coming this way? It's May 4th, 2007. When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon the town. Hey, is it coming this way? It's May 4th, 2007. When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon the town. Hey, is it coming this way? It's May 4th, 2007. When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon the town. Hey, is it coming this way? It's May 4th, 2007. 
When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon the town. Hey, is it coming this way? It's May 4th, 2007. When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon the town. Hey, is it coming this way? It's May 4th, 2007. When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon the town. Hey, is it coming this way? It's May 4th, 2007. When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon the town. Hey, is it coming this way? It's May 4th, 2007. When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon the town. Hey, is it coming this way? It's May 4th, 2007. When the sun starts to slip beyond the earth's bend in western Kansas, the fields are cast aglow into amber hues. The venerable town of Greensburg settles in for the night. The atmosphere, though, is a churning collision of humid and dry air, and instead of slumber, a fury is unleashed upon